Hey guys, Kev here. Over the weekend, we got the news that the Dolphin, em the Dolphin emulator, which emulates GameCube and Wii games, that was planned to be ported to um, PC and Steam, actually got blocked by Nintendo. Now the story is, and the way it came out, everybody thought that Dolphin got DMCA'd. It turns out Valve actually went to Nintendo, asked for their permission, and I think I even reported that um, Dolphin got DMCA'd. No, Valve actually went out, and this came out later. Um, Valve went to Nintendo, asked for permission. Nintendo said no. So Valve said, no, we're not doing it. But there are ways around what was done. Um, you can still run these games, and really any emulated emulator that you want to, on Windows, on Steam. You just have to know how to set it up. So... What you guys see here, this is just the games that I have installed on Steam right now. And you can see I have quite a few emulated games. Here's Majora's Mask, Tears of the Kingdom, um, Wind Waker HD, Conker's Bad Fur Day, the original Pikmin, Mario Sunshine, Mario 64, um, the WWE games, the WCW stuff from back in the day. If you know, you know, those N64 games were fire. Um, so yeah, you can run all those on Steam just fine. Now, because we're um, the really the news story is really about Dolphin, we are going to be specifically using Dolphin in this example, and I'm not going to go over how to set up Dolphin. I have another video for that specifically on the Steam Deck, doing this whole process on the Steam Deck because it is slightly different. However, the Dolphin setup for the Steam Deck is the same as on Windows. It's just the getting the games in the Steam is different, um, slightly, like minimal different actually. Um, However, I will do a separate video on how to do Dolphin emulation on Windows by itself. I'll do a standalone video for that, but we're just going to talk about getting the games into Steam for right now. And again, this is going to work for pretty much any emulator on Windows. So what you're going to do, you want to open up Steam ROM Manager. And when you open it up, you're going to select Create a Parser. And you're going to go into your Community Presets. And you'll basically just pick whatever console it is that you want to set up. Now, I'm going to go through the motions on this one um, because I already have it set up, so I don't need to do it twice and I don't want to mess up my setup. But basically, you're going to go to Community Presets, pick Nintendo GameCube Dolphin. Then you leave these first couple guys alone. You could change this configuration title if you want to. This is just how it'll... Um, appear on the back end and then you have your steam category that's how it'll appear in steam show your steam directory you're going to go browse and this is just where is your steam at they just want to know where your steam where your steam is uh, on windows i'll show you guys my setup at the end we're just going to go through this kind of fast um the rom directory they want to know where your roms are so again what folder did you put your roms in you click browse and select that and then they'll want to know your executable for dolphin and you'll just go to where you have dolphin installed once it's done, it'll look about like this. Now, everything after the executable, you don't have to touch it, leave it alone, leave it blank. Don't worry about it. You'll then save your configuration and then hit test parser. As long as you see the number of titles and it has all of your games listed and this little green bar next to it, you're golden. Green is good, red is bad. You don't want to see anything in the red or it's going to give you problems. After that, you're going to go to preview go parse and then it should show all of the games that you've set up with steam ROM manager now i've recently done a new windows install so i don't have all of my games here but this is the stuff that i put back on in the last few days um you want to now before and this is the, a very important step too before you hit save to steam because this is where they'll save these games to steam you're going to want to make sure Steam is completely closed. If Steam is not closed, it will not transfer right. Close Steam, then his, um, once Steam is completely closed, hit save to Steam. It'll give you a little pop-up down over here by the, um, by the system tray. That will let you know that, it, that the um, setup has complete. You can then close out of there and you can go back to Steam. Something else cool that I should make mention of too, if you wanna do any artwork and you wanna do it really easily, this is the place to do it. Before you save to Steam, you can actually click through and select different pieces of artwork. This one might actually be a little more difficult. Here we go, get a download stuff. So see, you can like change your artwork there, but I happen to like what I had, so I'm gonna leave it alone. 
Um, and you can also change um, for banners too, and you can change them here as well. Looks like they took down my one for Tears of the Kingdom, so we'll just use that one instead. And I'll, I'll worry about that later. But yeah, because I don't want to mess up anything. So yeah, you'll do that, and then you're going to minimize this. And then when you open up Steam, this is about what you should see. Obviously, my non-emulated games, like my VR stuff, uh, my native Steam games are here too. But that is what you should see. If you look here in the example, there are my GameCube games. And you can see that I have the GameCube stuff right there. Important step. Depending on how you're going to do your controls. I have a dedicated N64 controller that I use for N64 games. If you only have one controller, it's not gonna be a big deal for you, but I tend to set up my controllers inside the emulator itself, rather than work, rather than depending on um, Steam input. So if you use Steam input, don't bother with this step. If you don't use it and you use separate controllers, like I said, I have my N64 controller, you'll wanna go into properties, go in controller, and disable Steam input. Again, only if you're um, setting up your controls directly in the emulator. If you're not, don't worry about that step because Steam will take care of it and you can also use Steam input. This is great if you if you have multiple different controllers and say like I have an N64 controller again that I use specifically for N64 games. Um, I had a GameCube controller at one point that I used for GameCube games and that's why I make mention of that. I have a pro controller actually that I use for Switch games. So if you're doing that, then you'll want to disable. Otherwise, just leave it alone. After that though, it's really just um, smooth sailing. Uh, I have it already set up with my Xbox controller. Let me turn my controller on real quick. And then after you turn it on, it's really just turn on your game. As long as it's configured in full screen, it'll automatically take whatever configuration is in the emulator, which is great. Give it a second here. And then it'll prompt you to exit the emulator. And I think you can turn that off in the emulator. I just haven't. But it's a really simple, fast process for those who just know how to do it. Um, the tool you're going to be using, again, is Steam ROM Manager. Um, it's a free download, so don't worry about that. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.